Hello friends, my name is Akshant and welcome to CAD Academy. In this lecture, we are going to design the notch filter. We will simulate the notch filter circuit by using the multi-sim software. So let's get started. So to design the notch filter, we need three basic components. That is one resistor, one capacitor and another one is one inductor. Okay, so let's import that from the library. Okay. So first of all we need a resistor, let's take a resistor of 100 ohms, alright, like this. The next thing which we need is a capacitor, uh, let's take a capacitor of 10 micro, 10 microfarad, okay. And further in this video, we will see when we are changing the values of resistance capacitor or the inductor also, then what are the changes that we are going to see in the magnitude plot of the notch filter. Okay, and uh, next thing is the inductor. Let's take an inductor of uh, 10 milli Henry, like this. Okay, the next thing which we need is the voltage source. Okay, so for voltage source, we'll type here AC and we will get this AC voltage source. Selecting OK here, this is the voltage source here. The next thing which we need is the ground reference. Okay, taking this one. Alright, we are done with the components. Now we have to connect them and has to make the circuit like this so this is the basic circuit and and this circuit will give the magnitude plot as the notch filter have. We need to observe the voltage at this point. Let's increase the peak voltage to let's say 220 volt like this. Okay. Now when we are running the program, we are getting this thing, but we need the magnitude plot. So for that, Let's stop the program and go to the simulate, analyze and simulation, go to the AC sweep and select save. Okay, now we are running the program again and here you can see this is the magnitude response of the notch filter. Now let's see what happens when we change the value of L and C okay in this case we have in this case we have capacitor of 10 microfarad in this case we have the inductor of 10 milli Henry so we know the formula Omega is equal to where Omega is angular frequency Omega is equal to 1 by under root LC so by using that formula we can get the frequency where we are getting the deep notch okay so this is the frequency where we are getting the deepest notch of the notch filter and when we will use the frequency formula f is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root lc then after using that formula you will get the frequency as 503.29 and this is the point and at this point the frequency will be 503.29 okay so let's shift this deepest point of the notch filter let's convert this capacitor value to 100 microfarad select ok change the inductor value from 10 milli henry to 100 milli henry and run the program again so when you will find the frequency for the values for the values 
as 100 microfarad for the capacitor and 100 millihenry for the inductor. When you will put the values of L and C into the formula, you will get the frequency as 50.329, which is somewhere here. So we got to know that where we have the notch, we can shift this point anywhere by changing the value of L and C. Now let's change the value of resistance. So one thing you may observe from here that this magnitude line is gradually is very slowly changing from here to here let's make it more sharper so for that we will reduce the resistance value from 100 ohms to 0 0.1 ohm now to understand this thing in a better way let's convert our plot from logarithmic to linear one save now let's run now here you can see that the notch is more defined for the frequency like up to here we are getting a unity gain and after here we are getting a unity gain but only for this much of frequency we are getting a notch or the non-unity gain Let's reduce the resistance value from 0.1 ohm to 0.001 ohm. Okay. Now run the circuit. So, okay, so from here you can see that the notch has been more sharper as we are reducing the value of resistance. So now we have seen that when we are changing the L and C value, we can shift the notch anywhere on the frequency axis and uh, anywhere on the frequency axis and uh, when we are changing the value of r we can we can have more defined notch and uh, let's change the let's keep the resistance value again at 100 ohms now you notice one thing here that at this point we have 